There's Daddy in the tree. Look at that goofy boy. We're doing in that tree, Daddy. He's gonna break a leg. Right, guys we got our stem developed out pretty nicely now really liking the the look and the organic feel of this this is how it's gonna sit so now it's time to work on a leaf at least one see how it goes so I went out behind the shed got us another piece of uh, maple so we're gonna get this guy cut up on the bandsaw, get some stock made, and get back to some grinding.
I think that's about as far as I'm gonna go with roughing. We're gonna take the rest of it in by hand. Just don't wanna take uh, too much. But I think, I think we got a nice offset going here. I think this will follow up the stem pretty nicely. If we could pull off something like that. We're just gonna move forward thinning this out, giving it some uh, textures, making it a little more delicate and leaf-like. But I'm really liking the look of that, and I think we're only really gonna need one leaf. And we just gotta figure out how to blend that into the stem. But yeah, I'm liking that. I'm really liking that, actually. Cool. Ah. guys so we got our stem here and we got our leaf um, I went through uh, an attempt or two uh, yesterday trying to get these merged together and I've come to the realization that I'm never gonna get a clean uh, transition here uh, between the two pieces unless I actually integrate one into the other so moving forward here, I'm gonna lay out and cut in for a joint where we can actually bond these two together and then I'll be able to uh, grind down and blend them in. So I'm sure this is gonna be quite a tedious process because you need a very, very clean joint or else we're gonna have glue gaps and that'll just irk my soul. So. Uh, ever so gently moving on forward all right guys so we got our stem here clamped down to our little makeshift uh, v block stand i'm just gonna oh ever so gently cut us a uh, some kind of a socket or make a joint here pretty nervous cannot lie
All right, guys, so we're back over at the lathe while we're waiting for our glue to dry uh, between the stem and the leaf. Figured we'd go ahead and get a hole drilled uh, for our stamen, and then we're just gonna go ahead and get this guy parted off so we can get ready to start doing the shaping for our uh, attachment to the stem. <laughs> just got to adapt this to our stem and we're good to go awesome all right back over here to our v-block stand we got our flower parted off sitting here next to our stem we're gonna get this unclamped get this guy shaped up and blended together Hopefully it doesn't fall off. Alright. Not perfect, but we're gonna make the best of it and work with what we got. I like the look of it overall, so as long as we can blend it, I think we're gonna be in good shape. Well, today is the next and we got our leaf positively attached and carved into our stem it's looking pretty good really liking the way that's coming out um, so next step moving on forward we have to attach our flower here to the stem so let's do that hmm? So here's what we're looking at. Thinking 
know, I've got to figure out which way I want to face the flower, but we're gonna get on ready to glue this up. I have no way to clamp it. So I'm probably just gonna hang out and hold it for a while. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna get some glue in here, get her smacked on together, and then we'll blend the two together. All right, here goes nothing. Just gonna hang out over here. So this doesn't wanna jump around anymore. I'm gonna put a little offset. Catch up with you when we're ready to start blending this in. All right, guys, so while we're waiting for the glue to dry on our flower to stem connection, I figured we might as well start working on the stamen. Um, I got a piece of heavily figured maple in here. I figured everything else is maple. Hoping we can keep some of this curl in here, although it's going to get pretty thin. Um, I don't intend on just making a perfectly straight stamen either, so I'm just going to get this rounded out and get it kind of formed up so that we can maybe carve a slight curve in it. I think that'll give a more natural appearance, but I figured why do all the carving work when we can just round it out quick here on the lathe and take it from there. So uh, yeah, let's do that. guys so we got our steaming all sanded out sanded this guy to uh, 600 now I know in nature the stamen of the lily is actually a pretty highly textured piece uh, which is why I chose this heavily figured curly maple let's see if we can't let the wood speak for the texture of the stamen I'm thinking just by looking at it we might actually be on to something here so let's check it out I'm gonna get a little myelin sanding sealer on here and see what she has to show us ay, 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 that might be a little bit too much oh don't drop it how about that
I'm thinking that's going to do us just fine. Pretty neat. Really neat stuff. All right, guys. So we got our stamen made up. Got our flower glued onto the stem. Now it is time to blend these two together. Um, I had originally thought that I was going to be able to taper match this flower to the stem, but it took me a little while to realize that it doesn't matter which way you cut it, you're going to end up with a seam line. So why not just try and make that seam line as straight as possible so you get the best glue joint. Um, I am going to have to do a little work into the flower to get all this to blend together, but I think we'll be just fine. We'll see what we get. guys don't mind the mess on the workbench here um, but I just uh, figured I ought to let you know here last minute um, I decided to give this uh, the flower part um, a nice bath and this uh, here tongue wax finish made by Brad's workbench uh, check him out over at Brad's wood turning if you want to check out his work I think he's also got a playlist of uh, other turners that use his stuff but I found that uh, once this the Danish oil was drying out, although it gave us a good effect on the rest of the stem and the leaf here, uh, this stuff was able to hold a little bit more color 
uh, in the flower here for us, really make it pop. So just throwing that in there. Got one more step to go. All right, guys, a moment you've all been waiting for. The insertion of the stamen. We have this guy all prepped up, ready to go. A little dab of glue. Get her on in there. See what she looks like. All right, there she is. I'm gonna get this guy all cleaned up. Take a look at her. It's done. Let's go check it out. All right, guys. Well, here she is. A little difficult to keep her all in frame for you. It's a little tall uh, compared to what I'm used to. <laughs> compared to what I'm used to showing you guys. Let me get you on in there. Um, I'm really happy I decided to use uh, Brad's tongue wax uh, on this here flower. It really made those colors pop out. Um, as far as the finish on the rest of the piece, I'm pretty happy with it. It's got a really organic feel. Um, I was really going for kind of like a bulb feel. That's how these guys grow. We do have a little bit of a seam line here on the backside. Yeah, it is what it is. But I'm thinking that our joint here on the top went very well. Um, really hoping you guys like this piece. Uh, this was a real labor of love. We got uh, two weeks into this guy. So, I uh, am, um, I don't know. I'm really feeling uh, accomplished at the end of this really long project. So, uh, moving on forward, we've got a new sticker on the board. We got JLV, that's Jimmy L. Vinson Woodworking, uh, S-O-N, something out of nothing. I really like that tagline there, some good stuff. Um, so be sure to check his stuff out. Um, to be perfectly honest, I had no idea that this was going to be what we were going to be doing here for this uh, flower challenge. I, honestly, I had uh, a totally different idea in mind when uh, I first heard what the challenge was gonna be. Um, the wife made a suggestion and after a little bit of thought on it, uh, we decided to go with it. Um, I'd never done any carving uh, before, but I always wanted to learn. And uh, I got to give a big shout out to pretty much the only one that ever taught me uh, any carving. And he is uh, a YouTuber that needs no help from me. But a big shout out to uh, Bobby Duke Arts. Everything I ever learned about carving, I learned from you, brother. And um, I hope somehow, some way, maybe with the help of uh, all you guys out there, we could get this one uh, into his view. I don't know. That'd be neat. <laughs> but um, yeah, I'm really hoping you guys like this one. Uh, a lot of time, a lot of time and energy went into uh, putting this one together. So. Uh, that's pretty much it. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. Um, and if you think it's worthy, let's try and get this one uh, shared out. I think this one uh, might be something that could bring some new faces into our little uh, our little gang here. So, I love you guys. See you next week. We love you too. <laughs>